Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Blisto and welcome to my patch 7.0.3 Legion Pre-Patch Wind Welcome Monk PvP guide. Um, in this video I'm going to cover the abilities, talents, macros and rotation slash burst of the Wind Welcome Monk in this Legion Pre-Patch. Please note, this is the Legion Pre-Patch so nothing is finished yet. Um, the game is ba currently balanced around level 110 and this is on level 100. We don't have our artifact weapon yet so this is not the full uh, Legion Windwalker Monk. We are still missing quite some traits. So without further ado let's get into the video. So first of all let's talk about abilities. Um, the Windwalker Monk changed quite a bit. Uh, for example Jap is gone, we now have Tiger Palm. Tiger Palm is basically our Jap, it attacks with the palm of your hand, blah blah dealing damage. Tiger Palm has an 8% chance to make your next blackout kick cost no chi. So it generates 2 chi. It says 1 here. It should, ge should generate 2 chi actually. Uh, anyway, uh, Tiger Palm generates 2 chi. I don't know why, why it's uh, saying 1, it's just 2. Uh, it costs 50 energy and it's just basically our energy dumper slash chi generator. We still have Rising Sun Kick. Um, it, it still does the same. Uh, it's also reducing the effectiveness of healing on the target for 10 seconds. That's still the same. It costs 2 chi um, and this is basically your main chi dumper. You always want to use Rising Sun Kick on cooldown because it does a lot of damage. We also have Blackout Kick. 1 chi, this is our chi dumper. What used to be Tiger Palm is now Blackout Kick. Um, it's just Blackout Kick like before. It only costs 1 chi now instead of 2. We still have Flying Serpent Kick. Didn't really change. And we have Fists of Fury, still the same. It costs 3 chi. Um, it has a, it's a, it's a 3.5 second cast. But note, it's not a stun anymore by default. You can spec into that with the Legion Honor Talents, but on default, it's not a stun anymore. So please note that um, when you're using Fists of Fury and you're thinking, like, why isn't it stunning someone? That's why. A Fuse is basically our new healing spell. It's healing for like around 20k. Um, not really that much, but you know, it's decent. Costs 30 energy. F oh, that's my human ratio. Paralysis, still the same. Healing elixirs, this is a talent. I will talk about it later on. And Touch of Death. This one is different. This one changed quite a lot, actually. Touch of Death. It's not a finisher anymore. You can use Touch of Death whenever you want. It's basically a DPS cooldown on a 2 minute cooldown. Um, use Ancient Pandaren Knowledge of Atomini to inflict mortal damage to an enemy. After 8 seconds, the target will take damage equal to the uh, maximum re amount of maximum health reduced against players. So, what I found out, my gear isn't really the best, but in PvP, it hits for like 100 to 150k non-crit. So, it's quite a lot of damage. Actually, about one third of someone hel someone's health. Or no, one fifth is uh, PvP. Your health scales up, of course. So, pretty good. Talent. Spinning Crane Kick, another changed uh, ability. It costs 3 chi now. Uh, spins while kicking in the air, still the same. Um, but this is different. Spinning Crane Kick's damage is increased by 50% for each unique target you stuck, struck in the last 15 seconds with Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick or Rising Sun Kick. For, so for each player you, you've been hitting in the past 15 seconds with one of your abilities, um, Spinning Crane Kick's Damage is increased by 50%, so you can basically increase it to 150%, which makes it worthwhile in like BGs or something maybe. In arenas, I am not sure. I've been trying it out a little bit, and I'm not really sure about it, but it's decent, I say. Um, Transcendence, it's still the same. Same with uh, Transcendence trans Transfer. This is an instant cast now. Um, Spear Hand Strike, still the same. Touch of Karma, still the same. It's a one, one and a half minute cooldown. Roll. Still the same. Serenity is the uh, replacer of Storm, Wind, Storm, Earth and Fire. It's a talent. You can take it at level 100. If you are not taking Serenity, you will get the Storm, Earth and Fire. Which is... You must be in a rest area. Oh shit. Wait. This should be a rest area, right? Okay. So, don't mind, don't, don't mind this. But we now have Storm, Earth and Fire. Let's just search for it really quick. Um, should be... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, basically... Uh, you split into three elemental spirits for 15 seconds, each spirit dealing 45% of the normal dam uh, damage and healing. So it's a DPS cooldown now. So if you start hitting and you use this one, they're just attacking, you know? Um, you don't really have to do anything. They're just attacking like random targets here, but in arenas they're attacking your enemies. The thing I'm worried about is, I think it actually... 
hot. Oh yeah, you can call it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you can you can call them back to you. So basically, it's just a DPS cooldown. This is what it is now. It's pretty nice. It's pretty neat. Um, but I'm I would take a strange overwhelming uh, dragon punch. I'll talk about it later. So that's the new storm rate and fire. Um, we have disable. Russian Jade Wind still a talent. Um, the other ones didn't change. It's a talent too. So that's basically your ability for, uh, at the moment. If you have any more questions about Storm Earth with Fire, post them in the description. I will uh, get you some more details then. Let's talk about the talents. So level 15, we have Chi Burst, I have the Tiger, and Chi Wave. I think I have the Tiger is the best. It's, you don't have an extra button, it's just damage. It always does. Tiger Palm also applies I have the Tiger, dealing 8472 nature damage to the enemy and some healing to the monk. So that's pretty nice. I could see being Chi Burst pretty good. Chi Burst being pretty good, still, uh, with, with, with Burst, but since you don't have Tiger's Eye Brew anymore, I think, you know, you can get as much Burst as you can get, used to get, so I think I have Tiger is better. Level 30, Tiger's Lush is just the best for mobility. Uh, you can give it to friends if they're stuck or whatever, uh, if your healer has to get away from a rogue or something, you can give Tiger's Lust. If you're stuck by a mage or whatever, you can just use Tiger's Lust to get increase and get away these roots, which is pretty good. Uh, you also have cl uh, celerity, uh, you know, these aren't like as good as Tiger's Lust. At level 45 you have Energizing Elixir, Chicken Energy, refilling all your energy and Chi. So basically it gives you 5 Chi and 100% energy if you touch, if you use it. If you have 0 energy and use it, it gives 100 energy. That's basically it. Ascension, um, increase your maximum Chi by 1 and your energy regeneration by 10%, didn't really change. Power Strikes, not really interesting at all. So at level 60, Leg Sweep is probably still the best. But with some comms, um, like uh, like with a Rogue or something, where you have a lot of stuns and Leg Sweep is just gonna f uh, f fuck up your DRs. Ring of Peace can be pretty good since they changed Ring of Peace. Form a Ring of Peace around the friendly target for 8 seconds. Enemies in the ring that use a harmful spell or ability will be knocked out of the ring. So if they use like... Uh, I don't know, just an attack, they will be knocked, will be knocked out of the ring. So that's pretty good. That com could be pretty good against certain comms. I will see, the, I think this is gonna be played by some monks in certain comms. For sure. Um, we still have this link kicks, but. Uh, yeah, you know, you can use it for a slow, I guess. Um, with a rogue, you could, you could change between these two. This could be good for a slow, but, you know, disable doesn't really cost any energy. It's only 15 and it's a permanent. It's, it's a good slow, so I don't see this being good. Level 75, we have Healing Elixirs, which is an instant right now. Drink a Healing Elixir, healing for 15% of your maximum health. But it's still a passive too, because Healing Elixir will automatically trigger if you drop below 35%. So, and a charge is available, of course, you have two tar charges. So, if you pre-use this, like, um, you, you can see a burst incoming, you can pre-use this, whatever, I guess. Uh, which could be pretty good. You can, it's just an active and a passive now. Diffuse magic, still the same. You, this might be good against like warlocks. Um, it's still the same. Dep and harm, not good. Level 90, we have rushing jade wind. We have invoke suen and hit combos. Rushing jade wind and hit combos are the best. Hit combos for sure, probably for sure in arena if you play it right. Um, I'm I've been playing around with it and I don't really like it as much. I like rushing jade wind more, but it I see when uh, it could be good. I can see why. Uh, Rishin Jade Wind now costs Chi, by the way, and doesn't replace your Spinning Crane Kick anymore. And doesn't cost energy anymo anymore, so that's pretty good. At level 100, we have Orbit, Chi Orbit, and it's pretty bad. Willing Dragon Punch, which is a cool attack, um, but it's just not as good as Serenity. Serenity is, is really, really good. Uh, enter an elevating state of mental and physic physical serenity for 8 seconds. While in this state, you do 40% increased damage and healing, and all Chi consumers are free and have a 50% reduced cooldown. So... Rising Sun Kick only has a 4.4 4 second cooldown. Uh, Fist of Fury only a 11.1 second cooldown, which is pretty good, right? So Renty is just a really good bursting ability, and it's only on a 1.5 minute cooldown. Almost on power with Touch of Death. So that's basically the talents for the Monk. We don't have the Honor talents yet. We have to unlock these when Legion comes out, and I will make a new guide about that when Legion comes out. But for now, we're not going to touch the Honor talents for yet. yet. Legion is almost coming out, so yeah. <laughs> um, so let's continue with my macros. I don't really have any like cool macros. Probably no. Uh, no. My macros changed a lot since you know I used to have macros um, for before the Legion prepads, like this one with Tiger Eyebrow, but Tiger Eyebrow is gone. 
my one shot macro it's basically my uh, bursting macro it's just use serenity and use whatever trinket you have i really haven't touched it yet i can probably increase it with certain things um but right now this is probably just general how i want to keep it and uh, this was storm Earth and fire this is for um tiger's lust it basically uh, use tiger's lust on your dps whatever say your dps is called like um, blisto so you use this and if you have like blisto in your team and you use this one um, I've got my own control 5 use control 5. It's giving him tiger's lust. That's basically it Same for this one. It's giving it to your healer. Let's say your healer is called Blista You use them Blista. It's that simple same with this one. This is only for de detox detox removes poison or disease effect uh, And it oh fuck that was my touch of karma and it basically uses detox on your healer or your DPS It's really easy uh, my focus karma macro it uses torch of karma it first stops my stops casting my spell it cancels spinning crane kick forever if you really need it and then cast at my focus torch of karma because certain targets you don't want to use torch of karma on for example a mage because he can block it off so then you want to use it on your focus or whatever it's really easy and uh, this one is my focus for storm earth and fire not really special this is my focus target for paralysis it basically just I, you know, I'm also using stop casting and slash cancel aura sp spinning crane kick. It's just handy to have it in there. It won't be used as much, but you know, whatever. Let's say you're using tracking jade and you, you want to paralyze it, just instantly cancels your casts. You know, you won't, you won't be using it much, but it's I just have it. Same with my focus, um, spear hand strike, um, it's just stop casting, cancels our spinning crane kick and uses spear hand strike as my focus. Um, this is my jab macro, it used to be my jab macro, should make it my tiger pump macro, maybe. This was for Zuen, for when I used Zuen. Last, this is for me. Um, I use this one to stop like um, one of the uh, these auras, I'm not really sure why I use this. I did use this. I'm not sure anyway uh, anymore why. It's, it's whatever. Meditation. This was for Zen meditation. Um, paralysis. The same as my focus paralysis, only on my main target. So it's stop casting, cancel aura, spinning crane kick, and uses paralysis. Spear hand strike. Exactly the same. Only it uses spear hand strike. Tank. This one was for when I used for divine brew, which could be good again with the honor talent since you have for divine brew. Yeah, you have for divine brew, which could be good. Not sure yet. And this is my Touch of Karma, stops casting, cancels our spending crane kick and uses Touch of Karma. I don't really have that much macros yet, I really have to make some more, but this is what I have at the moment from before the Legion pre-patch. Um, I used to have more, but like a lot of my macros are w w wiped somehow, I don't know, I just lost like all my macros. I'm not sure why, so I had to make everything again, but this is what I have. Alright, so let's talk about rotation slash burst. So the Windwalker rotation is uh, quite easy, you basically just... Start with jab uh, with tiger palm. I, I was saying jab, oh, 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 funny. Uh, and you generate two chi. You by standard have one chi, uh, five chi there nowadays, by the way. So then you want to use always use rising sun kick first. Use another jab and then use uh, fist of fury. This is like a lot of damage. And then in the meanwhile, you can use one more. And since fist of fury is on cooldown right now, you can use blackout kick. So that's basically it. If you know your like rogue might go in a vanish or something, um, or there's a stealth target around you, um, pre-use Rising Jade Wind. Just pre-use it. It's uh, really good against rogues and shit. Uh, maybe, maybe like Feral or something. Um, that's basically the. That's basically it. There is nothing really difficult for the Windwalk Monk. But now let's get into the mastery. So our mastery does something weird right now. Your abilities deal 30% more damage when they are not a repeat of the previous ability. So that makes it a little bit com more complicated since as a PvPer it's really difficult to have a standard set rotation. As a PvEer you have like the set rotation you use on the boss and that's it. As a PvPer it all depends on the situation. If your target moves away it's always different. So try not to use the same ability twice. In a row. So right now, I'm not going to use my um, blackout kick here because the rest is on cooldown, and I would have to use blackout kick twice probably. So basically, it's blackout kick, 
Tiger Palm. And if it's your rice and sun kick is of cool now use it. Another Tiger Palm. You see your Fist of Fury is not on cool of cool now yet. Use one of Blackout Kick, Tiger Palm, Fist of Fury. Tiger Palm, this one, Tiger Palm, this one. So another Tiger Palm, this one. This is the best one. You could also, if you're not able to use Tiger Palm, just use two of these in a row. But this one will deal less damage because of the mastery. That's basically the retention for the Windwalk Mock. It's a little bit weird now with the mastery. Um, but, you know, you can't always play in with this mastery because it's rather uh, hard to control. But, you know, if you can control this, you can do a lot of more damage. Like 30% more or whatever mastery you stack, that much more damage you can do. So that can stack up quite pretty high and you can just do a lot of damage. So let's get to the burst right now. So how I would burst, it's really simple. Um, you come into a fight, and if it's a 1v1, you should you could paralyze him uh, before that. But if it's not a 1v1, just if you like um, get your burst done, first use Source of Death, use Serenity, use this one, use this one. Fist of Fury. Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, Tiger Palm, Rising Sun Kick. And you just do a lot of damage. That's basically the burst. Um, don't wait for these two to line up all the time. You might want to wait if your partner doesn't have like offensive CDs off cooldown right now. But if your partner really has a lot of damage at the moment, like a mage, um, and you see your Trust of Death is not off cooldown, just use Serenity without Trust of Death. You know, Trust of Death on its own is a really strong DPS cooldown. Um, so, you know, you should play around a little bit with it and check it out. Uh, that's it. So that's basically... The main Welcome Monk at the moment, it's not really complicated, but still there's a lot of depth in the gameplay because of the mastery, you guys. Keep in mind the mastery, um, play into the mastery, it's, it's really fun to play with it. Um, it's not always as easy in PvP, but you know, that's just how it works. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, I didn't really talk about Energizing Brew yet. Um, you can, you just, you know, get it in whenever you want, since it's not really necessary. It's like, you can use it, it's like... A mini burst in between so you have like three burst cooldowns you can call it like that um, anyways thanks thanks for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video found it useful um don't forget to like the video share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already give some criticism in the comments if i am like talking too fast if the guides just shit just tell me so i can make my future guides better um anyways guys thanks for watching and i will see you on monday on my next video see ya